Okay, friends, we're going to test uh, the uh, Sluggo float option. And I also have uh, actually a dash cam mounted up underneath here with the flip down screen. And I'm going to see if that uh, has any problems once it gets to uh, the water. So let's do some recording. Okay. Flip that screen shut. And like this. Alrighty. So let's test it out. Uh-oh. Maybe dealing with another battery issue. Dang it. Lego float conversion, take two. the heck and this is why I have it tethered god dang it okay so at this point I needed to get the drone out of the lake obviously so I am uh, got my super expensive an innovative tethering tool. As you can see, it's a kid's fishing pole. I had just restrung it with some 15 pound test that morning. So I had quite a bit on there and it was falling off. I had to fix that, which you see here. Using an open face reel is typically the best, but any reel will work. So let's go get it. Now when I pulled the thing out of the water, oddly enough, the power was still going to it and the lights were still blinking on the drone, which Check I can't explain, but you can see they're still blinking I can't here. explain that. And the drone is completely soaked. Let's take a look at this thing. And so is the dash cam I had. Uh, we're going to assume that that's wet right now. 